Hello everyone, this is Will. And this is Alex. And welcome back to another episode of They Mostly Come Out at Night. Mostly. We just got straight played. Oh no, we got dunked on. We got dunked. We had balls dunked on our faces. Yeah, it was like the movie version of, a, of a teabagging. Yes, except worse. More humiliating. Yeah, uh, I just, I don't know what to I'm kind of speechless about this one. Like, the ending... Uh, okay, I, I guess we gotta go... It's very meta. I guess we mm. could get, well, in mm. the wrong way. Yes. Um, it's meta in that the movie popped out of the screen and punched us in the face. Yeah, just fucking slapped you yeah. in the face. Straight across the face. Yeah. And it hurts. Mm-hmm. So tonight, for our, our viewing... No, I w- I, displeasure? Displeasure. We watched... Legacy of Blood? Now, this yep. has, like, three titles. Yeah, Legacy of Blood, a.k.a. Will to Die, a.k.a. Blood Legacy. The way we found it was just, you know, yes. Legacy of Blood. Yes, so. that seems to be the most common title. No matter how you spell it, this is absolute garbage bullshit. Just This is shit. Soap opera <laughs> bullshit. The fact that they like, can even call this a horror movie is insane to me. I it it is horrifying, just not in you know, the good way. It's horrifying in the way that like I want if there's physical copies, I want to go burn every single copy of this, and it shouldn't be on YouTube. I hate the fact that we even found it. Oh yeah, there's several copies on YouTube. It's all the same bullshit. Okay, so I guess we'll start. Okay, a piece of shit old man dies. Yep, and so it's a it's a guy that's doing the will. Yes, he goes to a, a big mansion. Yes, and he's he like do you see these two people talking in the mansion? And they're like, again, okay. So the one we watched, the audio is almost incomprehensible. Yes, like I couldn't understand half the stuff oh, yeah. they were saying because uh, it it just has that. <laughs> and then like people will talk, and sometimes you get it. Sometimes it's like there was one blah, guy blah, in blah. particular that I yeah. could never understand. It was like oh, 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 oh. <laughs> or it was too quiet. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so they're talking and they they say, "Oh, that must be the you know guy who reads off." The, I can't remember what they call the yeah. guy who reads. Off he the reads will. off the will, and he recorded the guy saying the will before he died. Right. So he brings a tape. So the guy that has the the, the guy that just died. Um, he has a voice recording of his will. Mm-hmm. So he says, to my three servants, which are Igor, Hel- Helga, Helga, and... And Mr. Rum, 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 Rum. Yeah. Yeah. M- mustache. Mustache John Wayne Mumble Man. Yeah. That has... <laughs> well, well, we'll get to what's in his room. Oh, the big twist? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, okay. So he reads off, he's like, you get a one million each, but yeah. it's only paid him increments of 500 yeah. per week. Yeah. Um, as long as you are servants of the house. Yeah. And he says, my other 126 million goes to my... His family. His family. But he his says, children. He says in a way, he's like so hateful of them. Oh yeah, no, he's a piece of shit. And he hates all of them. He hates all of them with a passion. Yes. Like they, like they are the worst scum on earth. The whole tape is just him shitting on his family, on his kids. But... Basically, the deal is they get the money as long as they stay there for a week. week. And if anyone he even mentions this, if one of them dies, then like they get the other siblings' share. Right. Which you know is a very convenient thing to put in a will, don't you think? So they separate hmm. it. What? Uh, how many siblings are there? Four. Yes. So there's four. So it's split four ways. Yep. And if one of them dies, it's split three ways. Yes. And so on and so on. Yep. So it's 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 a very strange thing to put in your will, don't you think? Little, uh, a little odd there. Yeah, just a little. It. Mm. But I mean, I guess it kind of tries to allude to the fact that he knows his kids are greedy and they're gonna yeah. try and kill each other. Mm-hmm. Um. Because he hates his kids. Yeah, so why not apparently. have a game out of it or something? Yeah. I don't know. So then it shows the, the you know, them burying the coffin and everything. They, they bury it. And then it goes back to the mansion. The mansion that they're supposed to stay in. 
And honestly, like, I don't know how to explain this one because nothing happens. Like, they go up to one of the sisters' rooms and, like, it's her so, and her husband. it's, um, I don't even... Lorraine? There's no, like, distinguishing features amongst most of the people. Except for the, uh, the woman who's, like, asleep for half the movie and Johnny. Right. Yeah. So, the woman who's half asleep for the movie, like, this is her first scene, and yeah, she's so laying she's, in the bed. she's, like, she's married to this doctor, he's a psychiatrist, and basically, like, the siblings that are in a relationship, they bring their, like... Significant Significant others, other. Yeah. So, like, there's one brother who brings his wife with him. But, yeah, this woman is, like, you know, she's in love with this doctor... And there's this, like, scene where they're in bed, and it's supposed to be, like, romantic. And she's like, tell me you love me. Tell me you love me. Tell me. I need to hear it. I need to hear it. And he's like, I do. I need to say I need to hear you say it. And he just tells her, and, like, I love you. Like, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> like, it's, like, the most monotone, like, yeah. I love you. Yeah. Um, so. It, it's bullshit. And then <laughs> there's... So there's also like this, uh, I guess she's the older sister. She's bitchy, but then again, like all of them are bitchy. So there's no distinguishing features, but she's playing pool. Remember? Yeah. And the, the jo- doctor. No, Johnny comes down first, right? No, the doctor comes down first. I thought someone left and then the doctor comes down. I don't know. Maybe. So Johnny, can- I thought Johnny comes down there talking about something and then she calls him crazy and he freaks out and that, like, i know that happens at some point but i don't remember when i thought that was okay the, I, I i well i mean i don't exactly know but i thought that was when it happened i don't know why we don't know it's such a memorable movie oh yeah i remember everything of the nothing that happened in this movie <laughs> like literally it's just rinse repeat of yeah. like scenes like it's like what we've seen it's in a now, fucking soap opera other movies where it just like it shows the girl in bed sleeping. It shows the do- like the doctor, you know, going around doing stuff. It shows like everyone being shady, but it doesn't allude to anything. Mm-hmm. So by the doctor going around doing stuff, you mean the doctor going around trying to get laid? Yeah. So when he goes yeah. when he goes to do like shoot pool with the yes. sister, they start flirting. He's trying to get his Mac on. Yes, they start flirting and talking about. He's like, he's a psychiatrist. She tells him, like, well, do you know about body language? And he's like, I... And oh, she, said, she said there's a book about it, I guess. And he's like, okay, I got this fucking line like, written down. I've read the book. And I, read, then... I read the book. I love the body. I prefer the mind. He lays and it, it con- on thick. It continues with this. Like, they get closer and closer. He and like, she's like, she's like rubbing the... Pool cue. He, like, caresses her shoulder and <laughs> yeah. stuff like that. Like, Immediately. Just jumps right into this like he's trying to have an affair with the sister. Yes. Because he's not... For some reason. Because he's not in love with this, the yeah. sister laying in bed. I think he's in it for the money. I maybe. But it never explains it, so I mean... I don't think that's what's happening, but honestly, I have no fucking clue what they were thinking when they it, made this. It never explains it. So we don't know. He would have had to know that she would be getting a fucking million dollar will way in advance. So I guess we're just supposed to believe that he's just not in love with we're her. We're just supposed to believe that he's just not in love with her movie. and he just wants to fucking spend this whole week in this house just sleeping around like a madman. Okay. Who knows? All right. So it's bullshit. <laughs> then they go and then she's like, "Oh, I'm" and then they oh, like he almost kisses her and she's like, "I'm hungry. Let's go up and you know, go make some food yeah and so they go up and get a ham out of the fridge yeah and then, never eat it yeah no <laughs> no one it never shows anybody actually eating anything in this even eating though they are sleeping they, they say they it a lot only show one person sleeping yeah and this all takes place in one night like yes. they have a week they could have dragged it out a week but no one night no it, it's a very efficient movie okay yeah well yeah uh-huh. very efficient and some bullshit happens and it, it goes to the, like, the older brother and his wife. And they're talking and talking. I guess they have a dog. He's, like, shaving. Yeah. He's, like, shaving and she's getting ready for yeah. bed. And I guess their dog goes missing. And then he says, 
every dog has its day. And then it shows a dog that we've it just shows never this seen tiny before. dog we've never seen before just running away from the house. And she sees it out of the window. She runs after it, and then the dog gets killed. You hear, you hear it whimper, and then yeah. it's just floating in a lake. It's floating in like this like little like man-made lake at the mansion. Okay. So she goes and retrieves the dog. They call the cops. They call the cops. Sheriff comes. The sheriff's like a raging asshole. <laughs> yeah, he hates the family. Yes, so, he hates like, the family. Apparently this family is like a, everyone bur- knows them, I guess. a burden to everyone. Yeah. Like, um, apparently, like, even the father was, like, the... Piece of shit. Crusty, like, yeah. just horrible person. Yeah. Um, so the sheriff investigates. He investigates a little and bit. And someone almost hits him with the hatchet. Remember? Yeah, so he's, like, investigating the outside where the dog almost, where the dog died. And, like, someone slowly comes up with him a hatchet. You just see a silhouette of a hatchet mm-hmm. slowly coming down. Mm-hmm. And then someone screams. And so yeah. he runs back he runs to the away. house. And it's the uh, the youngest sister. She screams because she had a bad dream as she's sitting on a fucking couch in, like, a living room. Yeah. I guess she fell asleep. So she screams, and they put her to bed, and she spends the next hour of the movie sleeping in that bed. I'm kind of glad she did, though, because uh, her acting was possible. I mean, out of out of all the bad acting, hers was the wor- absolute worst. Yeah. It was so bad. Oh, it was, it was wonderful. Like, the part she is in, like, oh. <laughs> oh, they hit a new low. Like, they're all bad. Like, don't get me wrong. Oh. Every actor in this movie is bad. But they hit a new low with this woman. <laughs> so, um, Special. anyway, the the cop is like, you know what? Fuck this shit. He Nothing's leaves. going on. Well, he tries I'm to leaving. leave. So, he drives down this dirt road. No, 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 you forget. So, he can't start his car for some reason. And he's, like, pissed off, and he literally starts yelling at the ground, like, basically, like, bitching out the father of the family. And he's like, you old crusty bastard, you yeah. fuck, I hate yeah. this, like... So he gets out, and, like, <laughs> he's, like, looking in this fucking, like, you know, at the engine and whatnot, and fucking the one of the assistants comes over, the guy, the cowboy guy. I seriously can't remember that guy's name. I don't even think he had one. Doesn't matter. Maybe not. So he like tells them like, yeah, I'm good with cars. And then he, they start talking about women because he's like, a car is like a woman. You have to treat her right. And then she'll like run good for you or something. Yeah. And they literally start having like this conversation about women, but it's all revolving around like car talk. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh yeah, you know, that, in that girl there, that engine sure can run. I bet. It's like, yeah. I'd like to get in the first gear with her. If you know what I mean. Like, yeah, and then he says, uh, so he's talking about how, another line we really liked, it's, uh, he's talking about settling down with a woman, mm-hmm. and he's like, so are you gonna shift it into low gear for a woman yeah. soon? But yeah, they they actually said that line. It's are genius. You... So anyway, they fix the car. Fix the car, he drives off. He drives off, he's going down this dirt road, he gets to a car parked in the middle of the road where yes. he can't get past. Whew. And he goes out and to investigate. He goes out to investigate, and we get the worst. Literally, I'm not kidding you. I've been watching movies for 27 <laughs> years straight. This is the worst, the worst murder scene I've ever seen in my entire life. I disagree with you, Will. I, I you shouldn't. I should because there was one with a lamp in this movie. Did you forget? Yeah. Okay. So let me let me rephrase this. This movie has the worst on-screen deaths i've ever seen oh i still disagree the lamp is worse and we will get to why no this whole movie has oh, the yeah. worst on-screen yeah, deaths. Yeah. not not like you know like i don't know which one is worse oh i know the lamp one is pretty bad <laughs> and i'm probably gonna rant about it that's again. even more low effort i'm gonna go octoman on it so just be prepared for yeah. that um so anyway he gets uh, hit in the face he gets with the hatchet hit, hit, hit with the face of the hatchet and then it shows him getting hit again, yeah, and then it like does these like stills, where yes, it's, like his face, it's but just it's the, the voiceover. It's the stills of his screaming face, and he's like slowly turning. It yeah. looks almost like a stop motion, yes, and like, but it's like a slow stop motion. But it makes no sense because they showed him get hit with the hatchet. Like I it mean, goes, it ah. looks like trash, right? But they still showed something. And then they go, ah, 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 and then ah, they just ah, give ah, up. Ah, ah. Yeah, like, <laughs> then they just give up. Just hit or have pictures. It's like a fuck. It's like no. It's not a slideshow. It's a movie. 
It's a slow slideshow yeah. too. It's like someone like clicking like you yes. know it's on like a, a slide fucking class projector. presentation. Like a slide projector. Yeah. Dude, oh my ah, god. Ah 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 ah. Like it's bullshit. So then we get that death, and then we go back to the basement where the 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 older sister is still just hanging out down yeah. there. Now now she's laying on the couch, and the doctor comes back down. Yeah. You know, because he wants to get his freak she on. He wants to get his freak on. Um, so he comes back down, uh, starts talking to the sister. They start playing darts. I have no idea what they were talking about because it, it's all it was bullshit. All, it was all gobbledygook. It's bullshit. Yeah, it was all bullshit. It's all soap opera bullshit. It's so, it, it is literally a soap opera. Um, it it has nothing to. It's do with It's a soap the story. opera with with more incest. And it has nothing to do with the story mm-hmm. either. Oh, um, really? You tell me all. You tell me that incest subplot had nothing to do with That's the story. Later, Alex, we can't give it to him just yet. We have to. Not yet. There's nothing else to give. No, I know, but we. I mean, we got to pad this out, man. <laughs> uh, I leave the padding out to the director. That's padding. It's because nothing happens oh. in this movie, so I'm struggling to like try and. Exp- who like, discovered? Who discovered they did, the head? Remember? Was so, it so they're throwing the, the darts and they? She gets hungry again. Okay. Yeah, and, and they, they go, go up, up to get ham. Oh yeah, and they uncover the ham, and it's the cop's head. Yep, but it has like some weird, like it looks like his head has just been painted. Yeah, I, it, it's supposed to be blood, but yeah, I, it's a fake head of him. Or well, maybe it's his real no, head. It's... And he was just under the table. I don't know. No, for some of those shots, he is under the table because you can see his face twitching. Well, you can also see the the floor is different colors. Well, no, that's just that. Like when it's from behind him, it's just the head, and then it's a puppet head. But when it's actually showing his face up close, it's obviously him. Yeah. Just sticking through, like, a table. Yeah. It's bullshit. And it I, I mean, this, excuse me, it's movie magic. It's this weird, like, it doesn't even look like he got chopped in the head. It just looks like paint and then yeah. white stuff. Yeah. I don't get it. I don't understand what it is supposed to be. They, they all scream. They it's, freak out. It, whatever it is, it's supposed to be horrifying. And then... And then it... Where then they start like there. They go to like this room, and they're all in there together, and they start like, you know, suspecting each they other. Start playing the blame game. Yeah, like who would want to kill the cop? Like mm-hmm. why would they want to kill the cop? All this stuff. And like, they say like, well, one of us should go and uh, go back to town. Yeah, does anyone have a deck of cards because they're gonna pull jokers? Yeah, and they just didn't do it. No, no one won. No one decided to go. Well, because all the car, and then, and then they then they explain that all the cars have been tampered with. Yes. Even though convenient, even though, even though, it didn't explain that. Like it didn't say anything about it. They didn't go check the cars. They just knew all the cars were sabotaged. I think one of them checked. I think it never showed them checking though. Oh, they don't have to show it. Will you, they just have to have one line that has someone saying the cars have been tampered with? I mean, yeah, it's a, a loophole, but like still, like this it's... whole movie is a loophole. <laughs> it's <laughs> oh, it's bullshit. So then they show. Do they go back to the older couple? They like keep going back no, between the couples. It's more talking with all the couples. And Let's then... just get this out of the way. So Johnny is like walking down a hallway <clears throat> and he starts hearing this the younger sister like calling out to him he's imagining it and then it cuts back to a flashback and basically it alludes to the fact that like they did something dirty okay and their dad found out and their dad is like bitching them out and it's this weird fucking flashback where it's like close ups of everyone's faces and, like, a giant, like, the dad's, like, sitting in, like, a chair with this, like, smoke machine, like, pouring smoke at him. <laughs> and then you got Igor on a chain, like, leaning yeah. down in, like, a little, like, like a bellhop. He looks like one of those bellhop monkeys or something. Yeah. That's what he looks like. Because he's, like, on, like, he's, like, crouched down. And <laughs> in one of these flashbacks... The dad yeah. grabs a cane. And the older brother's like, no, I didn't do anything. Yeah. Like, all this stuff. And like, and the the sister's like, no, don't punish him. And then the dad starts taking out the cane and whipping him. But before it shows him whipping the older brother, Igor, the freaking butler, the servant. jumps on top of him and starts, and getting, he starts getting whipped. whipped and enjoys it. Yes. And then it he shows... He really likes it. Oh, he loves it. And after that, there's a scene where he's like... It's Igor and Helga, the, Helga other, yeah. the maid or whoever the fuck she is. Yeah. 
and they're in a room, and, and Igor's, like, playing with the the cane. And Helga's looking at his wounds, and she's like, oh, it's almost healed. Do you still feel the pain? And he's like, yes. And then all of a sudden, he's like, hey, will you whip me now? He's like, when this is over, will you whip me? Yeah, because I guess he's worried that, like, since the dad's gone, no and one's gonna... And she's like, oh, no, like, you know, kind of apprehensive yeah. about it. And he's like, you must whip me. You, you must. Will. You, you will. will. And then he just takes it and starts, like, whipping at nothing. Yeah. And while laughing while hysterically. While laughing, yeah. For no reason. She also mentioned that he looks like Mel Brooks, except a really buff version of Mel Brooks. He looks like if you put Mel Brooks's head on top of a young Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes. Like, it's that's exactly... really it's fucking strange. It's really weird. It's very strange. I, it was odd to look at. Like, yes. I was like, what is going on right now? First, I was baffled because when it shows him being whipped earlier he even has like that pencil thin mustache he does no and like the the same like haircut and everything he does he it looks like you just took mel brooks yep. head and put it on top of a bodybuilder yep. it is bizarre it is odd i i it's... noticed it and i was like i can't get that out of my head now it's something so i guess like you know more talking more nonsensical bullshit happens. should we get to the the lamp yeah so okay, okay. So, we have the older couple talking again in the bathroom. And yes, again. The, the woman is worried because she has a bad feeling about something. Yes. Because stuff has been happening. You know what that is? That's foreshadowing. Mm. Yeah, because stuff has been happening. Like, you know, finding a head in a fridge is pretty pretty odd. Is it? Yeah. I guess, yeah, I you're mean, right. I mean, a little bit. Only a little. And then, you know, she then she starts talking about the dog again. Like we were supposed to, I don't know. Like, it doesn't matter. But um, he's like, ah, stop it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. But As he's it, brushing his but, teeth. I mean, I say it clearer, but it's... Yeah. yeah. Like, like go, go and like get a mouthful of toothpaste and start brushing your teeth and, and deliver dialogue. That is exactly what it sounds like. I don't know why the director chose to do that, but whatever. Realism. So I don't know. they're getting ready for bed. He like gets in bed and you know kisses his wife goodnight. He and goes she, to turn off she, the lamp. She's like leaning on him. He goes to turn off the lamp, and as soon as he touches the fucking lamp, uh, oh, <laughs> it, it electrocutes them, uh, both of them. Now I'm not an expert in electricity. Okay. Also, oh, you're also oh, you're like the director of this movie. Well, I mean, I have more common sense than him. I yeah. So when you touch a lamp. Nothing on it can re- like can it can shock you, but not to the point. Of oh no, will it can that. literally kill you and whoever you're touching? But there has to be some sort of conductor, mm-hmm. like static or something like that. But even static just mildly shocks you, nope. right? No, like he reaches for the lamp and like twelve million volts just go yes. straight through his body, and I don't know how, but his wife gets electrocuted they both too. Get electrocuted. There's nothing to complete the circuit. There's no metal. They're not wearing anything. She's barely touching him. They both get electrocuted. I don't know how. I It baffled me. When I was watching it, I'm like, how did that happen? I know how. They got electrocuted through the power of plot convenience. That, and that, that is, true. is the most magical conductor of all time. But it is the weirdest electrocution scene i've ever seen oh yeah because they get electrocuted by nothing it's a fucking lamp he yes. just reaches to turn it off it wasn't That's even it. it wasn't even frightening or interesting and they're just like both like still like shaking and like that's all they are. It's like, you know, no electricity. Yeah. It, like, the fl- the lights dim a little bit, but that's about it. In the it. other rooms, yeah. Yeah. Just barely. So then they go up to investigate and they find the couple being electrocuted still by a, a, a fucking lamp <laughs> um and so the guy like knocks it out of their hands and like they just both die and then they go and play the blame game again again uh, again and then we get more scenes of them just talking mm-hmm. and then we at get some a, point at some point we get the doctor going back to check on the uh his wife in... Well, no. We also have to... We kind of forgot. So, at some point, they mentioned that, that um, one of the assistants, the guy who looks like a cowboy, I guess he had, like, a violent past. Oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. We forgot so, about that. So, like, during the war, he mentions that, like, some German soldier, like, confronted him or something. He basically... And he says that he made him into a lamp. Yeah, like a... Like, kind of, like, joking yes. around. Like, oh, I made him into yes. a lamp. 
and you also find out that uh, the older sister apparently like was or would tease him in the past. Yeah, had like they had a like well he had a thing for her. He liked her and she teased and him. She teased and him. that nothing happened. And at one point she goes into his room. Yes. And there is literally there is a lamp. A lamp that is like a skull, some bones. And, and like the human shade, skin, the shade is supposed to be made of human skin. Yes, but you can tell they just took a white lamp yes. shade and just draped, like put like you know flesh covered play doh yes. all over it, or like maybe painted it with like brown. And then they just draped like a Nazi, like no, not even draped. A swastika, it a looked swastika. like they literally stapled a swastika to it. Yeah, and they in case you forgot, like, on his wall and yeah. stuff. And she's like, "Why do you keep such horrible memories and like yeah. all this stuff and like." And you mentioned the lamp again, and mm-hmm. he's just like, yeah, but this lamp, this lamp is like my most important yeah. thing. The, the skin lamp. The, the Nazi skin lamp. The Nazi skin lamp that we thought was a yeah. joke, but it, they made it real. And she tries to, so I guess she thinks that he is the one doing this. Right. Because she, she thinks that he basically fucked with all the cars. And so she's like, if you help me get out of here, I'll... I'll, I'll sleep with you. I'll make it worth your while, yeah. is what she says. She basically offers herself and to him. And he's like, I'm sure you will. He's like, I'm sure you would, but it's not me. <laughs> yeah, and then they, you know, they almost kiss, and, like, it, it's all awkward. And then she leaves. Everything in this is awkward. And then... Don't forget the millions of scenes of Johnny wandering around the hallways, hearing his sister's voice, and so having just, flashbacks. I was just going to talk about one of the major ones. Um, where the psychiatrist is, she, he like wakes the woman up, Mm -hmm. his wife up and she starts talking about how like, I need to talk to Johnny. Mm -hmm. I need to talk to Johnny. I had a dream. I had a dream where I was in a cave and he reached his hand through the cave. And I felt his warmth through the rock. And I felt his warmth and it felt good. I know what she felt. Uh, uh, It's, (laughs) it's all bullshit. Will. The cave is a metaphor. Think about well, that. I mean, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, she's this is just some like Game of Thrones overacting shit. the shit out of it. And just like, I felt him through the cave. Yeah. And, and she's I like, felt his warmth. As she's like doing this, she's like rubbing herself like just, like, it's fucking stupid. And the do- I, the psychiatrist is just sitting there like. Staring into the void. I mean, he should, nothing. he should have an expression like, like, what the fuck are you talking Apparently about Apparently right she now? does this a lot. And he just has this, just, whatever. Yeah. Um, he's so done, he's beyond, he's done with it. He's like, you know, go, go back to sleep, you know, mm-hmm. get some, get, get some rest. So he yeah. leaves and Johnny like hides from him. Yeah. And like starts going back into yeah. her room. And at some point they do a flashback where they actually show him and the sister like kissing. kissing mm-hmm. And then you hear like. You know, the dad yelling at them and some shit. And then he goes in, <sighs> and then he goes into the sister's room and is like, we gotta get out of here, just you and me. It's like, you and me. I don't care the about the money. I don't care about the yeah. money. I love you and like all this stuff. Like some incestual shit starts going on. Game of Thrones got nothing on this. Uh, and then they like, he like tries to kiss her and she won't let him and then... Well, no, he, she tries to kiss him. No, so at first, remember, yeah. he, he like, he was trying to resist the urge. Oh, yeah. Like, he was, like, kissing all over her, like, yeah. chin and stuff. And then he, like, says something, and then she starts trying to kiss him. And then he freaks the fuck and out and runs away. he freaks the fuck out and runs away down the stairs. Like, okay, he's literally spent the whole fucking night, like, thirsting over his goddamn sister. And then, like, as soon as he gets in there, he just, like, freaks the fuck out. Yep. Like, oh, wait, no. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> no. No, I can't do this. It's stupid. He runs away, and you see, like, a silhouette. Of, you see a shadow of a... Got of a person holding a hatchet, mm-hmm. and then you see a first person shot of someone following Johnny down the stairs very slowly, and Johnny's like freaking out, but he's not running away. He's just like slowly backing up, and then he just kind of puts his hands up to the camera, and then it cuts away, and apparently he dies. Yep. And then the older, no, well, who finds his body? The sister. Yeah, the older sister. The younger sister. The younger sister. Yeah. She, she runs downstairs and sees his, like, his face is, like, planted into a piranha there's a, tank. There's a, there's a fish tank that you see a lot in this fucking movie. Oh, they show it a lot. Because one thing they love doing is they will film people talking, like, through the fish tank. Mm-hmm. As if it's, like, some stylistic, you know, no, no. But anyways, they do that. And so he's, like, 
it's like the top half of his like neck up is like dunked in the fish tank. Yeah, and like the piranhas are eating his flesh. And the, I mean, uh, to be fair, it's something. This is the only part of the movie where I was like, that actually looks pretty horrific mm-hmm. because it actually looks like piranhas tearing away and mm-hmm. like, and it shows his skull and everything. Yeah, because eventually, um, when one of the later when the guy the assistant sees it by that point it's like all the flesh has been taken off and he just mm-hmm. sees the skull but yeah she sees that she freaks the fuck out and just runs out into the yard and somebody is chasing her yeah and she freaks out starts screaming the psychiatrist goes after her yeah and then the assistant goes after her and the older sister also run out and eventually she gets cornered and just someone shoots her in the face yep and then, like, throws the gun, like, it's the cop's gun, and he yeah. throws it on the floor. Yeah. And the psychiatrist gets there and picks it up, and he's, like, he's holding it and, like, checking her, you know, closing her eyes. Yeah. Because she's, de- she's dead. Yeah. And As you do. They cu- And the older sister and the gardener come up, and they're like, he's the murderer yeah. because he's holding the gun. He's just standing there holding the gun, well, yeah. the gardener suspects he is. Yeah. So they jump to, lo- like, Putting him in the cellar, tied up, mm-hmm. and he's like, he's like, do me a favor. He's like, do me a favor as the woman's leaving. Uh, lock the door. Yeah. And so, and then he tries to get. He out. tries to fidget out of it. Yeah. No, no luck. So they cut to the older sister and the gardener talking, yes. and she's like, I don't think he did it. Yeah. Like immediately, he has no reason to. Immediately. Yeah. I don't think he did it, and she starts freaking the fuck out, and he kisses her. Well, then she no. Then she starts suspecting Igor and Helga, yeah. and she's like, "It must be them because yeah. it wouldn't be you, and it wouldn't be him." Yeah. So it must be them. Mm. And they and then they, he kisses her and is like, "We got to get out of here." And they go, uh, oh, "No, no, sorry, no." He doesn't no. say we got to get out of here. I'll take you downstairs. I'll start stoking the fire. Yes, and they just sit by a fireplace, you know, very romantic, just chatting in the midst of all these. Murders. Like horrific murders. Yeah. They're just like sitting and chatting. And he basically admits to her that he kissed her for like just curiosity. He's like, oh, it's it's not the same. The you know. Well, and, uh, how he's had a thing for her ever yeah, since. Yeah, she's she was... like, what would have happened if we if we got together? Oh, nothing. Nothing. And then it's just like useless. And then the funniest thing happens. Like a bee comes in. Yes. And she's like, what is that? And he's like, well, no, don't it's... forget. You hear the sound. You hear the. Bzzz, and then she's like, oh my god, what is? That? Yeah, and she's like, it's a bee, and she's like, oh, I was stung by a bee once, it hurts. I thought that was, I thought, like, they were going to say that she had an allergy or some shit. I thought that's where they were going, yeah. too, but no, she she literally says, I've been stung by yeah. a bee once, it hurts. My theory was that she was going to get stung by a bee and she has, like, a horrible allergy, and then it would, like, die or something. Right. But no. So he slaps it to the ground and stomps on it. But what we got was even more lame than that. And then you and then you cut back to the guy tied up in the chair and you hear you see the door opening and you just see something like a gray thing being shoved in the door. A gray thing being door. shoved in the door and, and then, then you hear a bunch of bees. <laughs> and we're like, "Oh no. Like, Are you fucking kidding me? So, Someone just awkwardly shoved a beehive in there?" So then they cut back night? to the older yeah. sister and the gardener and they hear another bee. Yeah. And they're like, oh, and What's then they going hear on? him scream. Yeah. And so they run over to him, open the door, and he just, he's covered in like two bees. Yes. Or he, they put a, a hive in that room, mm-hmm. and he has like two bees on him. Are you, are you, are you saying that this director did want to spring for the it, full bee budget? It almost looks like they pulled, poured like honey, no, honey mustard That's over exactly him. what it is. Like honey mustard. He has like honey or some sticky like sweet stuff on him. And there's just two bees, like, awkwardly wriggling, wriggling around just, his like, face. St- I think they just stuck the bees to his face. Yes. That's it. That's all you get. That's how he dies. And then it cuts. And then there, that's what we get. That's what you get. So... And then um, the movie ends. Oh, wait. No, no. No, no it's worse no. than that. No. it gets worse. Yeah, I'm It gets sorry. way worse. It gets, uh... Oh, special. It gets, like, teabagging worse. Like, slap you in the face worse. Um, so... <laughs> It cuts to them, like, running around the house, and, and they're they trying run to find the, some, I mean, they don't really tell you, but... I think they're trying to escape. They eventually run into, like, a cellar, and they run into somebody, and she starts, like, choking them. Yep. And, and the light the turns light, on. And the light starts swinging and turns on, 
And it's the father. It's the father. As I oh, ha- yeah. I was like, wow, I didn't see that yeah. coming. Twenty minutes before that, I was like, is it going to be the father? Is he mm-hmm. just alive and like murdering his kids for no and reason? Like, How you were dead, and he was like, oh, a they- coffin. A coffin was buried. And she's like, I saw you buried. He's like, a coffin was buried. You're so stupid. Oh yeah, and, and then he reveals that he got mad because the wife, their mom, lied to him. Because, okay, so he's impotent. He can't have kids. That's the big twist for that section. And the wife lied to him and apparently, I don't know, had kids with someone else. Because he says he doesn't know who the father, the real father is. Right. And so that just, like, devastated him so much that not only did he kill the mom, he also is now killing all of them. Yeah, so he's kill- he killed the mom and is killing all the kids because uh, apparently it's their fault that she slept around on him? Yes, because he's just so disgusted looking at them that they're not his. Which he just can't handle it. He's the not- Okay. Look, yeah, I- you know what that is? Father of the year. Yeah. That's just... Definitely. Father of the year. He, he, did, he, he didn't see his reflection in them, so he decides to kill all of them like Yes. I mean, we've all been there. So then, um, some then you see some, like something like starts tipping over. Yes, it's like a, it's like a fucking like, like a shelf, and it has like it's like a bunch of wine barrels. Almost. It's a bunch of so wine barrels on top and of then it. And they they tip it over, and it, it like it smashes down to the ground. Yes, and then you see Helga and uh, Igor well, standing first, on top. First, you see all the you see the older sister and the dad and the gardener, whoever the fuck he is. They're dead. And then you just see Igor and Helga, and they're, like, smiling. And then Igor is like... You know what? Um, a glass of milk would be nice. A glass of milk would be nice, so like, yeah. grabbing his lapels. And they go into the kitchen. Yes, and well, first a... of all, we should just mention that when this happened, we were facepalming. Yeah. But little did we know... It is the most ridiculous thing. Little did we know that there would be yet another uh, twist. even harder facepalm. I think I facepalmed so hard, my hand went through my head. Yes. Like... The twists just don't stop. So they go into the kitchen, and Igor... This is like the last four minutes of the movie. Yes, and we're just like, what the fuck so is going to happen? So Igor puts on a robe and start, like sits down, and he's like, Helga, get me the cookies. So yeah. He literally sits down to a just a table of milk and cookies. Yes. Just slurp, slurping I mean, on milk and eating cookies. I mean, you, just, you basically just killed three people by fucking shoving wine barrels on them. What... What else would you eat, Will? Why not celebrate with milk and cookies? Exactly. That's a, the best celebratory And it's like snack. six in the fucking morning. Yeah. You know, it, as you do. It's the best celebratory snack. It is. Everyone knows that. I mean, Chips, Everyone chips knows. Ahoy should get behind that. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, and the reason. Because she's also like, how did you know? How did you know that he was alive? He's like, oh, my cousin. My cousin is the mortician. Yeah. How right. fucking convenient. And he <laughs> starts laughing. And then Helga goes into the other room and starts playing the piano. And like... He also tells her, I want you to, don't call me Igor, call me Mr. Whatever the guy's name was. Yeah. And he, like, has his little stick, his little whipping stick. His whipping stick that he wants to, uh, be whipped with. Mm-hmm. So he starts eating these cookies and, like, you know, he's being, like, smug. Him, and he's, like, slurping his yeah, milk. Yeah, being super smug. And Helga just kind of smiles and goes into the other room. To play the piano. To play the piano. And, and he, like, kind of stumbles in there. He sits down in a chair and then he's, like... The cookies. And, and and she's like, yes, the cookies. And I looked at you, and I was just like, no. And I, in my no. head, I was thinking, no. no and that's no, what I was thinking. No, 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 no. As soon as he did that, like, I was just like, no, 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 no. But then he's like, why? I don't even remember what the fuck she said. She said, like... What'd she say, Will? This movie's so memorable that we can't even remember what she said. I can't remember what she said. He said, he asked why... And then she said something. Yeah. And but he just dies. We, I remember what she said after yeah. he dies. So he dies. And then she He's... looks at the fucking camera. And what'd she say, Will? She says, and I bet you thought it was the butler. And winks. And winks? Roll credits. Roll credits. No. No. No! You're not that clever of a movie. You don't get to do that at the end of your movie. I'm sorry, you're not funny games. 
this is uh, this is much more edgy than funny games. I bet you done it with the butler. Like, I think what? Ha okay, halfway through the movie, I jokingly asked you, "Is this a joke?" And then I'm like, "Is this if this is a joke? Where is the punchline?" Well, we got the punchline. We got line. it. We oh, 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 we got the punchline, and I wish we hadn't have because oh my goodness, keyword punch oh punch mm. in the fucking balls like just man that was a scroll tap that was bullshit i we should have turned it off two minutes in so i feel like it doesn't need to be said but what are your final thoughts on the movie i hated it it was garbage. i i feel such hate for this thing my thing was i i i up until this point, I have never wanted to turn a movie off so badly. I was literally bored. More than Bigfoot? I Yeah. Really? See, mm. Bigfoot, Bigfoot, I could kind of... It, well, I wasn't getting into it. But, like, this one, I was almost, like, looking at my phone a lot. Like, I was, like, I was physically bored. And it's only an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, I couldn't get through it. Like, I almost couldn't get through it, and it's only an hour and 20 minutes. It's not like it's a long film. It feels fucking long yeah it feels like an eternity oh, God. but man like all the disjointed conversations again like just talking about nothing i don't know who wrote this but it's like it's nothing they don't talk about anything that pertains to the plot they don't talk about killing each other they don't talk about the money it's they a soap opera yeah they literally just they talk about relationships and like how yeah. miserable their lives it's are. like an episode of dynasty or some shit just like this fucked up rich family and their stupid drama. And in between that, you get like... It reminded me of like yeah. a Halloween episode of the Days of Our Lives. Exactly. You know, like... That's it's, this. It's what it with is. With more incest. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a slightly darker Halloween episode of Days of Our Lives. Keyword slightly. Slightly. Because this is still... And I mean slightly. This is still some vanilla oh, milk toast shit. It is so safe. This is bullshit. I just... I, even with the incest and the weird whipping, this is some boring vanilla bullshit. Like, the, at least those, I mean, those scenes kind of broke it up, but not enough to, like, keep me interested. I want to watch Beast of the Yellow Knight again. I do, too. I enjoyed that movie more than this mm -hmm. one. And I hated that movie. It, that movie was a masterpiece one. <sighs> no. Masterpiece. I just, I don't. If it gets worse from here, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, it does. Because I need... Oh, I know, we're watching Zat. Well, we just hope it gets more entertaining. What, are we watching Zat next? Yeah. Ooh, man, I hate that movie. Yeah, we got two more movies. I only watched 20 minutes of it, so I'm going to sit through the whole thing, but... We got, 20, we got two more movies, so... Yeah. And then we're done with 1971. Great. And then we move on. And then the cycle repeats itself. Yep, we're going to move on to 1972, and then we start all over again with these horrible movies. Yeah. We're not even through Counting down. Yeah. Counting uh, down, though, so. Yeah, um, but, I mean, as you go on, there's more and more horrific oh, movies. Yeah. Which is good. So, like, 71, they were just starting out. Yeah. You know, like, this was just, like, kind of the beginning. Yeah, but look, it can't be more bland and vanilla than this and Bigfoot. Never say never, Alex. Okay? I, I did. Never say never. This is because some bullshit. I think, I think some of the stuff we're going to watch may surprise you on how bullshit mm -hmm. it can be. Um, Personally, I am very excited for Zat. I am not, and you'll see why. When at least, at it, least there's a man in the suit. That's true. At least there's a monster. It's going to be maybe a little bit better than this, but yeah. So that was... Um, Legacy of Blood. Legacy of Blood or... You know, whatever else you want to call it. Or piece will, of shit. Will to die or... Yeah, will to die. That's that's a very accurate description of how we felt. Yeah. When we watched this. I needed a will to die. Do you get die. the title, though? Do you get it now? I wanted... Because you had a will. Oh. Genius. I wanted to drown myself in, like, a gallon of vodka watching that movie. Because I... You need to be drunk. I wanted to stick my head in a fish tank full of piranhas. Yeah. Same. That's... <laughs> It was that bad. Or, yeah. Will, there's a lamp right here. You can just touch the lamp oh, and wait. just die. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess you do get electrocuted yeah. by lamps, apparently. It, it's like touching a fucking electric chair, okay? <laughs> it's the fucking green mile up in here. <laughs> it's, that's how fucking lethal oh, it is. Oh, man. 
They don't even tell you, like, I thought at the very least they'd be like, someone tampered with the switches. No, they didn't even explain that. No. They ju- he just touches the lamp and then just it gets electrocuted for no reason. I thought at least it'd be there's like, no live someone wire. tampered with it. There's no like live wire on it. There's no nothing. He just touches the lamp and gets electrocuted immediately. That's the best they could come up with. Oh, it's almost as bad as the Octoman being in the fucking RV. Ah, oh. no, that was better. That's another. That's a whole. Nother, that was better. That's a whole. Least, nother, at least someone got knocked out during it's, that. Scene. It's a whole nother tangent. I just don't want to go into because I just get angry at that scene. Um, I think that was. I think this one was worse. Yeah, I think it was too. But yeah, so that was Legacy of Blood. If you want to watch it for yourself, and I mean, if you want to torture yourself with this. If you want to waste a, an hour and 22 minutes of your life, of like your we just life. did, you can watch it on YouTube. It's free. There's a bunch of, like like you said, there's a bunch of uh, versions. Free? Hmm. It's very it's strange. Free. It's tasking. It's not free. It takes something out of you. Th- think about what we could have done with our lives. But that's why this podcast is important. We watch mm-hmm. these crappy movies so people mm-hmm. don't have to. That's why we I mean, explain them so well. We could have done something productive. We could have, like, you know, bashed our faces into the wall. We could have. We could have watched paint dry. We Ooh, could have watched yeah. flies fuck. That's exciting. It is. It would be too exciting. More yeah. exciting. Way more exciting than what we just mm-hmm. watched. We could have just... We could have watched golf. Man. So, I guess, in point... We loved the movie. No. Uh, no, we didn't. No. Best movie all. ever. Best yeah. movie. Masterpiece. Masterpiece. Way better, way better than anything we've ever watched. It's better. It's better than Godfather. Better than Godfather. Better than um, Citizen Kane. You know, just the best movie ever. Kill me. Yeah, me too. Kill me, please. And like when you're doing that, make sure you do me in too. Um. So for they mostly come out at night. This has been Will, and this has been Alex, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.